Hello! Welcome to the Dragon Quest race! Hooray! I'm Spurkover! And I'm Lavitz, and I was yawning, and Sparky decided to wait to talk, and it was terrible. It was beautiful! This is going to be very great and not awkward! There's definitely not going to be nothing besides memes, and me complaining about the EQ2. It's going to be a fun time. So yes, welcome to the beautiful Dragon Quest tournament. We will have good times. Yeah, so, believe yeah. it or not, this isn't actually a rando. This game's just the devil, and everything about it is relatively random. We don't do full manipulation, except for, like, a few Japanese runners will. You can see everything is in moon runes, that's because there is no English version, and the English patch is very slow. And it doesn't refill your MP properly, what's even the point? Well, I mean, you can always take the free ring and... Or the free wing in Rimaldar? No. We play in Japanese. Yep. I'm ready. Thanks I am so ready. ready. As soon as the robot will let us race, we will race. Oh, it's not a robot, it's a human. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, the human has to tell the race bot what to do. Also, we start from power one because JRTA. Hooray! How do I make a file again? Uh, you have no save files, so that it's just the only option that you have. No, I have my two other files. <laughs> this is why I don't have other files. <laughs> so I'm very much hoping that I wanted the speed 8. It looks like I did. Uh, if you have a turbo controller, you want speed 8, yes. I don't. Then you wanted speed 1. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, you just fun. have to mash really, really hard now. It's fine. <laughs> Technically, 8, if you have a good enough mash, is still faster, but... Yeah. 8 waits for your input. That's technically the quote-unquote slowest option, because it's waiting for your input. One Wait, is that why my PP is so bad? Uh... You didn't no. try and mash through text? It could be part of it. So, it starts out like just about any other RPG. We have to buy some things, and get some things from the treasure chests. I have to remember what I'm buying, but I think I'll do it right. You gotta steal this old man's lunch, too. He's got wings just hidden in the stressor that he's gonna eat later, but they're ours now. Delicious wings. Of the wyvern? Are those, like, meaty wings or feathery wings? Because I always pictured they were feathery wings, and I don't want to eat that. I mean, picture-wise, they're feathery, but or feathery, but you know, I mean, gotta you have to pluck the chicken or whatever. Anyway, I guess you wouldn't know. If you don't eat. <laughs> no, not very well. You're the world's only vegetarian bear. <laughs> Bears are omnivores. It works. Yeah, but they're not vegetarians. I just never chased down a deer before myself. Sounds hard. I mean, Mr. Deer wants to live too, and he's all adorable. Yeah. The bear has a hard life. Ooh, a Draki immediately, that's good. So, first things first, we need to count to seven. It's very convenient if we can count by threes instead of ones. Which I'm doing. Oh, baby. Mm. Eh. So yeah, we walk around, we kill some things. We hopefully find some things other than the little blue slimes that I am, but you know. I found two draggies in a, in a she slime. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So the monster stats are not randomized in this. I mean, they kind of are. Well. A any monster that you'll run into can spawn with between 75 and 100% health. True enough, their health can be random in its own way. <clears throat> but the rest of the stats are not so much, and I just missed hitting a slime. Is that possible? Everything is possible in Dragon Quest so. RTA. <laughs> True enough. I have so much experience, but my herbs are not amused. Oh no.
So once we count to seven, then we want to count to about eight. So that makes us sure that we can do what we need to do, or what we want to do. Also, I just tried to commit suicide, but failed, so that's good. Mr. Ghost there can hit for four. I had eight HP. So, if he hit me for four and then outsped me and hit me for four again, that wouldn't have been great. That would be not so much fun. You don't want that. It's okay, though. I'm about to run into a Magidraki and I have no herbs. So I'm just gonna die repeatedly to Magidraki on my way to coal. I recommend throwing your torches at him. <laughs> That's the plan. When we went to town, we bought three herbs. And a couple of torches. We had the free torch that we got from the chest. The three torches are our real only method of attacking in this area. Yeah, that's a Magidraki, alright. Okay, that's a physical. That's good. I'd like to see another of those, please. That's not a physical. That's also not a physical. Is he being rude, dude? Yeah, he hit me for 11, but then he hit me for 8, so I have 2 HP left, so I guess I get to do slow strats. Oh boy. I have I have no healing, so I get my free experience. Which have you ever changed out of doing Babby strats? No. I'm Babby. Good. You should never change out of Babby strats, because Babby <laughs> strats are the best and I hate the fast strat. I found a so. scorpion. Now if only I knew what Ooh. a torch was, there's one. It is the Taimatsu that haunts your soul. <clears throat> yeah, the only randomized monster stat is things can spawn with 75% health, but their max health is always the exact same. I actually don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm resetting because that's a one on the string seed. I'm not um, even there yet. So I just got to the town. But you had to sit there and you had to eat that scorpion. That takes some time. It's a lot of big tasty experience. Very tasty. So here you pick up a flute, you pick up some clothing, and you pick up a strength seed. And then you want to roll a two, or hopefully a three on it. Or you get to reset. Oh boy. At least I reset into a three. There's only really one fight that truly makes it matter that you have to get five or six. Which is fun. I rolled a three! Hooray! I reset and then pulled one. So Very good. That. So everything should be, I'm pretty sure it's 33% chance of one, two, or three. I'd hope so. I wouldn't want I, it to be any worse than that. Which means that about 90% of the time you roll a one and you get to reset and be sad. So if you get a three early on, then you're, it's a lot easier on the second time. Yep, 66% chance on the second one because you only need another two. The difference between two and a three doesn't matter. It's just the threshold we need is five. And Since two and all three of our is five! Types. Are you sure about that? I don't know. I'm not good at math. You'll you'll see this later in the game when I'm stuck trying to count and I don't know how to do so. <laughs> there are a lot of counting opportunities in this game. Since we're doing this the slow way, we get these, we get level four here, and then we're gonna come on down here, and we're gonna throw fireballs at a couple of things. I want to throw fireballs at a few things. Let's do that. So do I. It's very nice. If you do the uh, the big boy strat, you don't get to do this, and it makes your experience much tighter. Mm. Magician. Ghost. You don't want to throw fireballs at these. You can whack them with your club. Yeah, I got 20 experience out of that. I found another tasty scorpion. Lucky. Very good. I'll get one more mystery. One more mystery enemy. If one will appear. Another tasty scorpion. It's I got backpacked by a drachy. Oh, rude. He missed. So I punched him in the face. So now I'm going to go up to town and probably buy full herbs and full torches, because I believe that's what I'm supposed to do. Hopefully. I do know the reason you want full torches is so you can find the death necklace. Oh dear me, I have to navigate the mountain cave? Oh, this is going to be terrible. 
I mean, I'm a very experienced speedrunner who knows what they are doing. Easy. Just think of it in DDR terms. Up, left, down, right, down, right, up, right, up, right, down, left, down, left, etc., etc. No, I need I need a step chart like with a song so I can know which song it is. <laughs> so yeah, um, in order to get the death necklace, there is a one in sixteen chance. Here you go. Here's your randomness. Uh, the other fifteen out of sixteen times, you're just gonna find a torch. But the death necklace is worth twelve hundred, and I'm about to buy a bunch of torches for eight each, so they're not worth twelve hundred. We need that money. Cause money. Shoutouts to money. Money's great. We're gonna buy a weapon that we shouldn't be able to get. At a level where we really shouldn't have it. That's really gonna make anything that we're about to do possible. Yay, exploits. So I am full on money. Let's go for a walk. Bonk. I don't know why I'm killing things. Technically speaking, this is really slow and I should just be running from things in this area, but I'm not. I mean, I'm trying to run from a red slime, but it was like, no. Well, that's impossible. True. Red slimes are... Especially when we're outside of the cave. Get to the, the land of the strongest slimes. Ooh, mm -hmm. okay. Not to be honest, I don't entirely remember how to fight things and where my safe heal lines are, but we'll pretend we know. I mean, you can just ask me and I'll tell you. I'm not that worried about... Winning that I'm gonna me. hoard information. You're not worried about me. I told you, I wanna go in too. I'm ready to be out of this tournament. It's <laughs> only just starting. But I'm ready to go 0 and 2 in this tournament. I mean, we're having fun. We are having fun. This is fun. <laughs> this is a great way to spend my day. Fun, I just have other things I need to be doing in my time. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I didn't know you could find slimes this far ever. Yep, and here we go. I won't be able to run from this slime forever. Uh, he's not Strongest worth killing, though. Slime. The, uh, the slimes outside of this cave are really the strongest of slimes. They have, like, Stronger max agility or something. They're faster than metal slimes. I can run away from a metal slime sometimes. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get away from the slimes outside of this cave. Oh. Confirmed. Found a red slime close to the cave. Could not I run. had to run like two or three times. Oh wow, I'm already right. level five. I have I'll not... be heading into the cave and I'm not allowed to use a torch, so I am going to hopefully concentrate and not get lost. Oops, I went too far. Blast around in the lake a little bit. Yeah, we're racing, but uh, since this isn't a randomizer, we're not using the same seed. We're using whatever well, seed. Well, we are using the same seed, <laughs> in theory. No. Same Entirely game, different. At least. I got back attacked by a magician who, of course, did cast Gira. Rude. Why wouldn't he? Probably use an herb. How much health do you have? I was at eight. Yeah, you definitely need herb there. I think 30 is the line where you want to heal on the second floor? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> Alright. Close enough. You want to stay as close to full as humanly possible? Yeah. After I get the shield, I normally will bump it down to like 25, 26. I pretty much play it based on how many herbs I have. But yeah, we are racing each other, but we have no commentators, so we're having fun doing this. Yeah. We're gonna sit here and talk about whatever we want as I walk around with 20 HP on the second floor. Which I'm sure is possibly not about to go wrong when I triple run fail to the skeleton, okay. Double run fail, I had 1 HP. Clearly, that was enough. We're gonna just you did survive? all of the herbs in our face now. Yep, I double run failed, I had 1 HP left. Alright, I think I made it. Yeah, I made it to that weird, like, statue place. I don't know what they are, but they're like little gray pillars. Yeah, the pillars. If I make it there, I know I'm safe. One torch, two torch, three torch. If you want to play along, get the third line of text that comes up. Eventually, it'll be something different. That's when I know I don't have a torch. So this is Taimatsu. Okay, well, cool. like five tries. We'll take that. Oh, nice. Not bad. 
All right, let's hope that I can actually get into one of these rooms that have a treasure chest. Oh, good. I ran into my arch nemesis. They let me get away. So ah! That... Oh, no. No, I'm fine. I passed the money chest, and I'm in the torch chest. That's fine. I'll just have to go back. Well, now you get to get back with torches. Mm hmm So, yeah, that was the reason we had to go through that cave in the dark, was we needed to get to that chest and open it. And find not a torch inside of it. Now we pick up an iron shield. It's the only shield we'll ever have, because the silver shield costs too much. We'll never have enough money for it, ever. And can I please go away? I said please. Thirteen. <laughs> Quadruple run failed to my arch nemesis, who left me with ten HP, and failed to sleep to let me get away, or I would have been dead. So that's good. That's why he's my arch nemesis. Having an enemy that can put you to sleep this early in the game is very, very rude, but you're also not supposed to be here at level 5. So it's partially our fault. So unfortunately I do have to backtrack a little for this chest over here, but the money is very important, so it's worth it. Oh my god, no encounters during my backtrack. Obviously that means it's fine. While you're doing that, I'm stripping naked and flailing around until something comes and decides to eat me. <laughs> Metro Ghost. Mr. Metro Ghost, there's no Metro in this game. <laughs> I don't understand where they got the term Metro Ghost, but that's what they went with. Spooky subway. Oh, I called the 15 minute cave. I'm glad to watch it. Please, my internet's so bad I can't watch it no matter what I want to do. I wish I could watch people while I race, so that I can understand how futile all of my actions are when I play against Pop or Diener or Star. <laughs> yeah, I'm not watching you, but you know, we're we're communicating. We, we know what's going on. Yeah, we have no issues with just telling each other, because it doesn't matter that much. Not really. At the end of the day, Lavitz is definitely more skilled, but there's so much RNG in some things that it might not matter. Let's find out. Dragon Lord can just kill me three or four times, and then nothing yeah. matters. That's how I won a race last year. It took us like two and a half hours. Ooh, that's not great. I mean, Game Boy almost beat Star. Star is the fastest of Western runners. Game Boy had been playing for like a month and a half or something. Eh, it might have been longer than that, but he hadn't been playing for long. But, you know, if you just walk down on your way to Golem and you just smack two metal slimes... <laughs> was very, I was very unamused because this PB, I think, passed mine for a very short period of time. Oh dear. I was like, I'm not okay with this, so I buckled down and took my place back. Or it might have just got really close to me, it was one of those. This was during my almost an entire year of not killing a metal slime, so I'm watching this race and he kills two and I'm just like... <laughs> Infuriated. I still haven't killed one. Not that uh, I've played this game very much, but... I killed one not long ago in a race that I just forfeited immediately after because... I didn't get my first walk to Golem until 40 minutes in. Mind you, my PB kills Golem at 33 minutes. So I was 7 minutes behind PB at this point to start. Alright, so I rolled a 3. Me. Nice. Did you get a 3 on your first seed or 2? Yeah. Nice. We're both rolling that, that six strength. We have very healthy bow pose. Very strong. Mm -hmm. What'd you get on your so, MP? Ah, uh, five? Nice. Think so healthy. Five. So, I think now I want to go buy a key. That sounds about right. Yeah, key or six. Yeah, key or six. One key. <laughs> Maybe more. Uh, the minimum you should buy is three. The maximum you should buy is six. I, I just go for the maximum. Well, the reason that you would buy three is you would, it would run you out and put herbs at the top of your list. Ah, that's... that's an inventory management thing. But that's only if you run out of herbs. If you don't, you just buy six. That's very forward thinking. I'm not that forward. Remember, remember, I'm on like the babbiest of strats possible. Mm -hmm. So I'm teaching you new strats right now. In the middle of the race. It's fine. Everything will be daijobu. Don't worry about it. <laughs> So, fun fact, that wolf that I, I just fought, uh, 
Should he choose to do so, he can just kill me anyway. If I minimum roll both of my spells, I'm just dead. But I didn't, so that's what really matters. <laughs> no, the baby strats are the best, at least at the beginning of the game. <laughs> They're ni baby strats are nice and safe, but eventually when you want to improve your PB, you have to grow up from babby stage. It's yeah, like... The, the, big, the big difference is the how we both died in Cole. The faster strat, you don't do that, but you also don't get to use the two gears, because you don't die, you don't get your MP back. Well, you don't get MP in the first place, because you don't have it at level 1. And... Not getting those two kills puts you behind as much as, like, 32 experience in comparison. Which makes the walk that I just did and that Sparky is doing... ...complete and utter, utterly terrible when you have to get that much more experience during it, because it's very, very dangerous. Wait a minute. Okay, good, I did have herbs left, thank god. I mean... I'm not huge on the other baby strats, but taking those two gear fights, or fireball, hurt, whatever you want to call it, that's a strat that I really, really like. I like them. That makes my- that made my walk to Rimmeldar just so much less terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's still terrifying, because Wolf and... Scorpion are very rude. Now we're gonna solve the thing that we bothered to get. So now we've got enough gold for a steel broadsword. Which we don't equip. For reasons that you will see shortly. So I need to use my HP seat. Five, I'll take it. And so I had two herbs, so I'm gonna buy up to five. Probably thinking, but you need six total, don't you? Isn't that the max? And the answer is yes. But we're just gonna steal some, steal one from someone else. Using the uh, the rule of being a hero, where we're allowed to just take what we want. Loot everything. Speaking of looting, hello castle, hello treasury. So the really convenient thing about this game versus. The NES version is, I don't have to sit on top of a chest grabbing, like, ten gold over and over again. Pretty alright. if you're lucky. <laughs> I already have a spare sleep, that's good. So, if you get really unlucky with your MP seeds, your max MP can be 95. Heal more costs 8, so that puts you at... A very bad position because that means you just automatically just don't have one Hilmar you should. And the maximum is like a hundred, hundred and one, which gives you a bunch of extra nice little MP. As long as I have 98, I'm normally happy. I want one sleep, I'll probably use it on a stone man inside of Sherlock so I can just punch him to death. Take my free herb, grab an HP C that we're also not going to use. We're not? Nope, not until we get into a fight. Uh, I guess so. More forward thinking. Yep. Speaking of forward thinking, I walked into town and didn't buy keys and tried to go into the inn and I was like, wait a second, problem. Yeah, that's not gonna go very well. Could just knock on the door and hope that the guy that's sleeping in there will open it for you. And the reason we didn't use the herb is so we or the HP seed so we can use it there. Because I should have killed the Drackey. But, oh well. Let's see if I remember how to sell something. I do! Now which one? I'm selling that one! It's worth a lot of money. Congratulations. Yeah, being able to get 1200 gold for the Death Necklace and then buy a Steel Broadsword is really silly. And it's all great. of the best ways. I kind of forget what to buy from this guy, but it's herbs and wings and something. Yeah, and if you used all of your torches, you need to buy a torch, but yeah. you probably didn't. No, it's probably difficult to use all of your torches unless you're really doing something funny, or just dying a lot. Uh, no, if you use gear out on an iron scorpion, and then it defends, you can throw a torch at it. Mm. And kill it sometimes. 
Or, I think you're supposed to do it if it just lives in general. Okay, we're gonna stop being naked now. What's that? What's that? What are all these things? That's my club, you need to leave. Yeah, gotta get rid of that and the thing that's a bunch of circles, because that's your clothes. My no-no. I only know a couple things, so let's see. Let's check our inventory. We don't have any wings. Let's get some. <clears throat> I forgot to empty my inventory, so I wasn't able to buy all the things I wanted to buy. Yeah, so we're doing that now. Oh good, my arch nemesis. Please don't put me to sleep. Gear is fine. I could have done without the second one, but okay. Like, I wasn't even able to buy herbs, and the guy was just yapping at me, and I'm like, why can I not buy these? And I'm like, wait a second, I've got clothing on. This is actually bad for this part of the game. I made the clothing add pockets or something. <laughs> Gee, just shove the herbs in the pockets. Yeah. Yeah, the gold routing in this game is not that bad. There's Unless a few situations where we might have to reset, but it's generally fine. Most of our money, like, we've already done the most major, like, money thing in the entire game. <laughs> it's literally just getting the steel broadsword, and it's like, okay, I have it now, it doesn't matter. Um, the only thing we're really gonna buy beyond this point is holy waters. And all you have to do to, to buy holy waters and refill your keys and all that good stuff is... If you die on your way to Golem, you just save, and then you reset. If you die again, and you won't have issues. Technically, you can take two deaths to Golem, but you want to save the other one if you kill a Metal Slime or something very convenient. Pretty nice. And then at the end of the game, we'll buy a torch and some, some herbs, and that's about it. We, uh, we pretty much have our our equipment that we're going to use until we're replacing it with Roto gear, which you don't buy. Ooh, a back attack on Blue Wolf. Nice. Yes, you still lose half gold on death. But we can afford to lose half of our gold because all we got to do is buy a couple of keys and... Some holy water and a chimera's wing. Doesn't really cost you anything. Because we'll have all the gold that we have from going through this cave. We'll have all the gold that we have from the rest of our fights on our way to the golem. That we actually take to get to level 8. The money's not very tight. The way it would be the tightest is if you threw torches at something on your way to coal at the beginning. And just got really, really sad. Nice Kaishin on the defending Iron Scorpion. We'll see ya, bud. I had one weird game where I ended up having to, I think, get the chests in Gorai, something like that. It had, like, money and... But I don't remember what happened. I probably just died. Yeah. Somewhere weird. You can end up a little bit short if you die, like, on your way to Rimbledar. Yeah. But conveniently, there is the... Perfectly accessible copper sword and the money chest. The money chest is a pain to get to, though. Mm -hmm. Also, if you also want human. to just skip buying a torch, if you burn all of your torches, it's perfectly acceptable to um just take the torch that's in Kara, because <laughs> there's one just sitting in a chest that's perfectly conveniently grabbable. Ah, triple run fail from a Drakey. Great. <laughs> Good old world's strongest Drakey. Why? Who made I'm them gonna, so strong? I'm gonna have a very fun walk to Golem, I, I can tell. Mainly by the fact that I have no MP left, and I only have, like, two kills in Danger Zone in Garai. Uh-oh. So let's make sure all my things are equipped. They sure are. So I'll be entering the tomb, then? I'm tempted to use an herb. I'm not going to, but I'm tempted to. Yeah. Rather save my safety herb. Hopefully I remember what the heck to do in here. I'm sure I'll survive. Just make sure you get to level 7 before you go down to the, the danger zone. Yeah... What's the torch? There it is. I only stared at them for like, you know, 13 times in the... 
in the other cave. So, the danger zone is the third floor down, right? Yes. Okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Cashin? No, I'm dead. Okay, cool. Uh-oh. Or is that okay? It's fine. I have three kills. I should have only had two in the first place. Alright. I had 35 HP. I ran a you know, nice gold split. Um, gold! It, it's fake. It's very, very fake. I'm sure it is, but, but still. 129 is not bad. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't have even had as many kills as I had. Why am I walking out of here? I have this wing for a reason. Um. So, I should have already died. I had 35 HP, but I ran into a Metal Lord, and then he just kind of faffed about and fell over. I'll have 61 HP for Golem. At this point, I'm strong enough that I can run from everything in this zone. First try, guaranteed, which is nice. It'd be nicer if I didn't run into, like, 87 encounters on my way down to the actual good place. I'll probably need a few more encounters before I go down to the next floor, but I don't know how close I am to the next level. Shouldn't be that far. Hope not! Why am I attacking the skeleton? For fun. Oh, well. Apparently. You having fun? I haven't died when I'm not supposed to yet, so it's pretty alright. I'll see how, what Golem decides to say. Now if I could remember how to get to my spell menu and heal myself, there we go. Good job, me. I am messing up every single half step. This can only go well when I'm going through the actual dangerous part of this walk. Oh yeah, that's something I should probably explain, so... So you see I'm trying to, like, rub myself against the corners of things? Like a cat! Yeah, if you do that, you get to move around it, and it gives you a free step without having to, uh, take a fight, which is really nice. It just does not increment the threat counter. And one of the big important things about level 7 is getting sleep. Everything here that is worth fighting, we can put to sleep. Everything else is gold man, and he smells like cheese, so we try and stay away from him. There's my level. I ended up getting a lot of encounters on the second floor, actually, so it went very slowly, but... I'm a bigger boy now. Second floor is good experience, though. Oh, yeah. Pretty much the same encounters outside of... Rimmeldar. Mm -hmm. And now I want to be afraid of, like, everything. Yep. Well, Savin also is going to let her put things to sleep if she has MP, which I didn't, which is terrible. How Speaking much do I love have? It, there's a light. 12 MP. Pretty much, I usually just play it safe and don't fight too much except for the Wolf Lords because I can put them to sleep. And just kind of try and stay away from most everything else until I get the harp because Babby Strats. Oh, hi, Star Jerk Bird. Good, you went to sleep. Great, fine. We'll see ya. Oh, I should have healed in combat. Whoops. So, a convenient change in this version that was then taken away in the mobile version is if you put something to sleep, it's guaranteed to stay to sleep for at least one turn. Uh, it allows us to do a lot of really fun things. Like, beat Golem at level 8. He was not guaranteed to stay asleep for at least one turn. He would just punch us, and then wake up immediately, and then punch us again, and then everything would be awful and terrible and bad, and we'd be very sad. Conveniently, that's not how it works, though. He will stay asleep for one turn, so we can sit here and poke him for not very much damage on our way to count to 155. Well, hello, Mr. Green Dragon. Thank you for letting me get away. We can't put him to sleep, and he can just... Chew us up and spit us out. Had a really good walk. Our inventory is the way it is, so that we can just press left once, and then we're on our flute. Make some beautiful music to go about our business. You can see I have 7 HP. Uh, you have a less than 3% chance to actually outspeed him. Which is fun and fine and good. It's not fun, it's not fine, it's not good. Because if you mess up, that's your only chance of survival. 13, I've got to count now, you would wake up, 25, 
I'll stop counting aloud and messing with Sparky. Oh, I just died in the grave. Oh no. In Did a good way, in a good way. Okay, that's good. But now Never. it's time for Golem Walk! Oh boy! I'm sure it'll go fine. Mine went perfectly. Hopefully. I do have to kill some things along the way, though. I'm 180 away from the next level. Ooh, that's not great. I know, but that's just kind of how my magic fell. I had no way of healing myself at the end of the grave, so it's yeah. like, okay. It happens. I got pretty lucky, because I had, like, 11 when I went down and had to burn almost all of it immediately on healing. So I kind of want to assume the first walk's not going to go so great just because I'm going to be low on MP, but you know, good things could happen. Someone's being slightly rude, but not terribly rude. Well, at least once you get to him, you know, you're pretty solid. Well, he, he wanted to wake up really fast early, and I have like two herbs left now, but now he's staying asleep good. I'm on 11. 124. How much health does he have? 155? Yep. Alright. That's what I thought, but forgetful. I'm just gonna be really lazy. I'm just gonna attack once and then flute, and then I'm gonna attack twice, and he should be dead. So. If you run out of healing, what you end up having to do is you flute every other turn. And as you saw, the turns that I was using the flute take forever. Because you have to wait for the entire thing to go through. Oops. That was a late split. Oh, well, it's a gold split. That's also very, very fake. Gold! And, uh... Jerkbird killed me. Okay. Like Star Jerk Bird or Magi No, just regular Jerk Bird. Jerk Bird. The little list of the Jerk Birds. Uh, I mean, just regular Chimera is actually surprisingly strong. I assume he just decided he didn't want to go to sleep. That's not the right button. So this is the hardest boss in the game. It's called Vault Boss. Yes. And it's impossible. I've I've seen. Even the, the greatest of Japanese runners mess up Vault Boss, because Vault <laughs> Boss is that strong. It's very hard to say, yes, I would like to deposit these tools, and then yes, I would like to take out these tools. But, um, we deposit our Dragon Scale, which doesn't work like the NES version, we actually do have to keep it on us. <laughs> um, so I did just lose 5 defense, it's also 5 defense in this game, which is insane. Yeah, that's quite good for the price. Yeah, it's better than, uh, better than clothes. That's why we don't buy clothes. We just take the free ones later. <laughs> ah, stealing somebody's clothing. The life of an RPG hero. Yeah. One of the really other good things about this, the truest of quality of life, is these seeds that we're picking up and giving us free stats. They make, they make life nice. You know what I really appreciate? The shoulder buttons. The yeah. all-encompassing, like... Talk, search, door <laughs> button. It's yeah, beautiful. not having to open menus. Not having to open menus to go downstairs. You just walk onto the stairs and Popo is smart enough to realize, hey, there's stairs here. I can go down now. And then he does. So I'm gonna try my very best not to die this time around, but you know, I might. And now we're buying now I'm buying holy water. I rubbed one all over myself and I ate another MP seed. Now I'm going to go into the reason this category is called Dragon Loop. As soon as I use the swing and fly in the sky. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. The leather shield is also worth it. And it costs 90 for 4. Thanks, Cowie. So I died oh, no. again, because I'm bad. No. Oh, reset, try again. I'm not even at the real part of Golem Walk yet. I still have to get to level 8. It's not great. <laughs> what did you die to? Same thing as before. Why are, you, why are you dying to Chimera? Why is your burpo so bad at putting things to sleep? I should heal more. I mean... Probably. You know. The heal line is 50. They're too strong. Why are they so strong? 
because they're worth like almost 70 experience, which is really, really tasty for that area even, compared to like so. the stupid healing skeleton that's only worth 40 something. Ah, <sighs> well, you'd like to heal in a fight, but if you get a magician, you have to just swing at it, unless you're gonna do lavage strats, but even lavage isn't dumb enough to do lavage strats all of the time. Just now we're gonna loop this dragon. Ah, triple run fail from a ghost. It's a good day. Big strong boy. Okay, good. Woo! <sighs> So, Dragon 1 is by far the scariest. You are very, very weak. And that was very bad damage rolls. He decided to do lots of very big hits. And heal more than I would have liked to. So now I've saved the princess. Look at how saved she is and how happy she is. Actually, that's exactly what it says, is I'm so happy. And then she gives me a kiss on the cheek. And then we leave the cave. Alright, I got my revenge on the smallest nice. of the jerk birds. So now we're gonna take the princess back to the Oh no, we're dead. So oh, we don't shocks! Take the back to the castle. We gotta go save oh, her again. We'll that's get terrible. It. Gee whiz. It's okay though, I mean, the dragon's dead, so. All we gotta do is oh. walk back in and get her. Well, good. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just don't gotta worry about it. Just gotta walk out of the castle this time, because we don't have any wings. We don't have return yet, sadly. So maybe I'm level 8 now? We're level 8! I mean, I only had 18 MP left, I didn't really want to waste it, and I don't know, my D-pad just started messing up, and I started just flailing back and forth wildly instead of just going forward. I don't know what was going on there. I don't, I don't know what happened there. It won't happen again. Fine. So finally, I get to do the golem walk portion of the golem walk. Hooray! I believe in you. Now it'll go nice and fine, because you've already sacrificed yourself to it multiple times. Nope, the Wraith Knight got me. Oh. Oh, well. Better be careful, you're gonna be short on money. I'm gonna be very short on money. Huh. You're actually gonna manage to prove me wrong about how you shouldn't really end up short on money at this point. Well, the good news is now I can finally save and reset from this point if I die again. But how yeah. much money do I have? It doesn't tell me that conveniently. I need a couple hundred. Okay, edit. So the dragon did actually come back, apparently. So I'm gonna have to kill him again. Oh, shucks. Ah, fight a gold man, that's a great idea. Gold man is a source of a lot of money. And he certainly can't hurt you at all, because he's just a pile of money, right? Wait. If your name's Game Boy F9, fighting a gold man on the way to golem's a good idea. How do you look at your money? I have... Where's my money? Oh, 184 monies. I'm pretty sure that's not enough. That does not sound like a lot. It's okay, we got the... We have the princess again. Nothing Holy could possibly go wrong. Twelve, right? Something like that. And Maybe. then I need wings, and yeah, that's cutting it close. Just kill something on your way down. Like yeah, I mean, you gotta fighting... kill. You have to kill magicians and magidrakis anyway. Yeah, I'm fighting the little things, and there sure are a lot of them. 
Okay, this time for sure, we'll definitely get the princess back to the castle, guys. I promise. I have to be honest, I've done so many Zelda runs lately where my entire strategy is run around and flail until you get what you need, so why not apply it to this? <laughs> I, I mean, heck, that's how my race went yesterday. No bombs out of level 2. Kill every enemy in sight. No one dropped anything forever. Good times. You did the dragon loop without chain mail. Oh, oh dear no. Me. <laughs> oh, that sounds almost as bad as doing it in the mobile version. Or the PS4 version. Or the 3DS version, because those are all the same thing. Or any other version ever. Also, uh, mandatory PSA. If there's anyone who would like to take my world record in DQ1 PS4, please do. <laughs> I don't want that world record anymore. It was a terrible meme, and it has every reason to be faster than my PB in this game, and it will never be faster than my PB in this game. So I'm never going to play it again, probably. With you. At least outside of marathons. I might do that as a, as a marathon meme. That's about it. I finish what dragon loop in my PB? Uh, I kill like four metal slimes and then I do a smaller loop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice miss, dragon. Wait, this isn't the way to Golem. I should go the other way. I might be dead. Am I dead? No, I'm fine. Not dead! No one's hitting me for 58. That's not great. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> oh, Callie. Classic Callie. Okay, I definitely can't possibly die with the princess a third time, right? Totally not. Uh, yeah, that's outside. Balls are hard. Oh, no. I didn't even make it to the part where I accidentally walked backwards. Okay, good. So, I'm out of holy waters now. I need to go get a few more of those. Alright, we made it to Golem. Let's not screw this up. I believe in you. Don't get back attacked, please. How do you flute? Which... How do you get to an item? There's the flute, right? <laughs> Very good. We've got a flute. All is well in the universe. Conveniently, we don't actually have to walk back down to, uh... Cantlin, Melkido, whatever you want to call it. To get more waters, we just come in here. We peek around this corner to talk to this lady. It just gives us water from what I can only assume is, like, the city sewage. And we rub it all over ourselves. <laughs> we buy a few more. Now we have return. Also, why did I walk out of the castle? I have return now. So I bust through her ceiling. Now we're gonna go grab the... Yeah, here it doesn't do very well with Swamp. It's okay, though, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to die to the Swamp this time. I feel really safe in saying that. I, I believe in myself this time. I'm going to make it through this Swamp. Uh, how much health did I have there? I guess I can't see my stream, but I'm dead. Please no die. No, I did. Please no die. I died. I died to Golem. Really bad air rolls? Cali had that happen to him. I guess I did. Because the herb range is 20 to 35, so technically you could end up with, like, something HP. Oh, dear me. I'm not, to I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just die to go outside of Dragonlord a few times, and you'll come back and win. No, please live, live to Dragonlord so I can just stop. <laughs> please mercy kill it for me. <laughs> 51 HP, well, thank you. you. Yeah, that's not great. No! <laughs> yeah, Callie's done that. That's the Callie classic right there. Oh. Well, 
I have to kill things for money on the way again? Yeah, whoops, I wasn't supposed to swing that time. How did I heal there? I think I could have just swung. Fine. Please don't get outsped by dragon, thank you. So I think the princess is actually gonna make it back to the castle this time. I'm feeling really good about this one. May or may not have something to do with the fact that I need to buy keys. Wait, I shouldn't be avoiding enemies. I need to kill them for money. The money that I'm not going to be able to spend because I'm going to spend the rest of the race in Golem Walk. I mean, when you die to Golem, you should just reset them immediately. Oh, I did, but I don't have enough money on that save oh, file. Oh yeah, that's right. That's not great. Yeah, not so... Fun. It's not good. Though, to be fair, killing all the one-hit kill enemies isn't the worst thing in the world, because I feel like half the time you don't run from it, them anyway. Yeah, you have to kill the magicians and the Magidrakis anyway. Because <laughs> if you do- because you can technically still fail to run there at level 8. Yeah. And then you t eat a Gira and you're like, well, now I've got to heal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we wanted to go save that guy, but instead we just died of the electric floor, because it's really, really painful. Ouch. And I know in DQ2 it's like 7 per step, I don't know what it is in this. So now we get to start making the king mad by busting through his ceiling. But he'll get over it. I don't that water. So I'm thinking maybe I should just go like stupid safe strats for the golem just so I can get past it. That might be an idea. I mean, I don't know what safe strats you're going to use. Flute every single time. In fact, don't even attack. Just use the flute continuously and keep him asleep forever. Use the flute until he erodes. Some natural erosion takes him out for you. Exactly. That would make a really good speed run. Yeah, you have to. You should technically watch your herbs whenever you're doing it. I don't. I don't know anyone who actually does. It's very bad luck to roll lower end on two herbs in a row. I believed, and the believing didn't work. Yeah. First time I heard of that happening to somebody, it was when Callie was like, I herb twice and died anyway. I was like, huh? No. And I was like, wait a minute, yeah, herbs can, can roll 20. And now I carry on the legacy. It's okay, historically, Golem Walk is, like, the worst thing for me ever, anywhere. I can go critical hit the dragon lord. Oh, died to a jerk bird. The star jerk bird. Ah, you can outspeed me, dragon. I don't know, you're gonna have to work really hard to go 0 and 2 in this tournament. I think you don't understand how good I am at being terrible at Charlock. <clears throat> yeah, but does it out terrible my golem walk? Pretty sure my record for deaths in a row to Dragon Lord is like 5. Ouch. Yeah, that wasn't great. That's four or five, I don't know. Somebody go look at the questing for glory VOD. <laughs> Where I went from Diener died to Dragonlord like twice and I had a chance to win because of it to I was like almost 30 minutes over. And like that win would have been like a 140 something. Hmm. Shucks. It wasn't great. Cool, though, and, uh, a retrothon, I finally managed to, for the first time in my history of, like, five marathons, be underestimate. Hooray! When the estimates were, like, super softball, it never should have been an issue. Yeah. Well, when the ending can be that random, though, that's always Yeah, yeah. When you get outsped on what should be the final blow against Dragonlord 1, he puts you to sleep and kills you. Yeah.
That's the Lavitz classic, is getting outsped by something that has a less than 1% chance of outspeeding you. <laughs> so I sleep when he does it too. <clears throat> hey look, I died again. And here is just really bad. He really enjoys just swimming around in the swamp. And the princess keeps coming back here because this is the place with the only bed in the entire nation, as far as I know. She's got a nice table and a nice chair. Yeah, it's not that that bad looking. Otherwise, she just sits in her throne all day. Eh, yeah, shouldn't have healed. Yeah, look at that nice bed. It's got a canopy and everything on it. It's very pretty. Pretty sure Dragon's just her friend, and they're just having, like, a tea party. Uh... <laughs> you might want to just... Oh, okay. I don't know. Alright, I'm not... I don't know what to say. Like, you're just having some, some walk, that's for sure. It's... It, this, is, this is about how I expected it to go today. I, mean, I was I even head coming out of the people? tomb, and I was like, hey, it's green, and now it's so very red. Oh no. I'm sure you'll catch up. I believe in you. Ah, uh, okay. That's Thank not, you. that's not your turn. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, this I is Dragon. I don't have the same belief. Anyway. Wait, I don't have... Hold on. Wait a minute, I walked back and forth in that swamp to get rid of 29 HP without an encounter. Without holy water? That's impressive. Wow. I don't think I had an encounter. Probably should know that. It was literally like 25-30 seconds ago. Maybe a little than that. Uh, a Dragon Lord death can cost you anywhere between like 9 and 11 minutes, probably. It depends on where you die at. How long you just sit there asleep while you spam heal more. And just the questing for Glory Luck was a massively impressive train wreck in its own right. Oh, I guess I gotta stop by Breconary anyway. Since I'm a big idiot, I tried to cast outside in the castle, and then I cast return, and there's 14 MP just missing. Well, okay. shucks. Um, actually, the way it works is there's a tiny helicopter that you can't- we never get to see, and it just airdrops another dragon into the spot after we leave. Uh, by the way, I now have, uh, Tohoto Su, which is... Propel. I've only got one heal left. Uh, I guess I can cast the sleep. Or What's I guess a Gwaylin? I can be put to sleep. I don't know who Gwaylin is. You mean Lara? It's called Laura in this version. Um, well, I'm just gonna use a couple herbs on the way to Golem, because otherwise I'm just gonna die without them anyway. Uh, that's generally the smart idea anyway. Yes. It's, it's better to have a slow Golem than be dead. I guess in your case, it's kind of, it's better to not be dead as many times. Feels real bad. 
pretty much. Hello? Did I not go to the vault? I never went to the vault, did I? Oh no. Dang it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Explains why the All last right. two dragons were hitting me as hard as they were. Okay. So let's we'll just have the slowest later. golem in the world. It'll be fun. So, uh, after Dragon 5, I was supposed to go to the vault, and that explains why my dragon loop time seemed really, really good. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, as I said, Vault Boss is the strongest, oh. and, uh, that helps make it really strong when you forget it exists. I am so set on being safe that I actually did just play the flute twice in a row, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but... Uh, I mean, it's better to play it twice in a row than end up dead because you forgot to play it. Maybe so. I hit him and forgot to, that I hit him. But yeah, we're just sitting here 2 HP, being happy. Yeah, if we are true professionals in this video game, with our ability to not remember things that we did less than like 30 seconds ago. I'm just mashing buttons, I don't know what they mean. Same. I so I hope there. you like flute music. Are you out of herbs entirely now? No, but what's the point? I have two. I mean, if you max roll, you'll be fine. I would just use like one herb and then flute and then use two herbs. Or use an herb and heal if you have MP. I don't have enough MP to heal. No, I just have two. Oh. Uh, feels real bad. Yeah. Well, because I had to use herbs on the way here already. Alright, there's one herb. There's a flute. So at this point, these enemies are currently massacring my good friend Sparko over there. Uh, I can just one-hit with my sword. I'll get revenge on you for this with this chimera. Yay, please do. We're gonna go face my good friend Sunbeamer's worst enemy. Alright, well I got exactly one extra hit out of using those herbs and those flutes, so I think... It wasn't worth my time. <laughs> oh, I think I just played the flute twice in a row again, because I'm really wanting to be safe. It's very important. Okay, so I did. I managed to not pull a Sunbeamer, but I do need to heal because I only have 2 HP. Oh, I have Rota's armor. So, this chainmail that we have been using for a long time, oh yeah, I never equipped my scale. I probably should have died there for sure. <laughs> but you survived Good. because you want the run to end. Please end the run. I'm doing my best. I'm also forgetting all of my splits now, which is good. I mean, technically, that's the first one I actually forgot. I just didn't do the other one, because I don't technically have the, the Staff of Rain yet. Mmm. Dragonfly. Dragonfly is really tasty. Oh, no. The DQ2 talk is starting, because I speedrun that game, too. Um, yeah, dragonflies are super-duper tasty. Well, lizard flies are. Dragonflies can be kind of scary. Um... You can ask my good friend Star of Violence about that when he ran into four of them and just got massacred inside of the lighthouse. When we technically do the lighthouse far later than we're supposed to. Golem is down! Finally! Now you're only a dragon loop behind. And an act. 21 minutes behind my splits. It's not Beautiful. great. You can come back. I, I don't want to. I want this run to die and forget about it. <laughs> just I'm so skip positive. The skip the dragon loop and just go kill like 18 metal slime. Oh, okay. It's that easy. End of them. And it's kind of the fun thing. The dragon is a little bit longer than killing a metal slime, but technically it's worth at least slightly more experience. Hi, jerk bird. Don't heal on turn three. Oh well. Alright, Vault Boss complete. Nice. Wait, what? Oh wait, yeah. You're Vault Boss. Yes, yeah, so I'm that far behind. Ooh, I'm... I'm out of it.
Well, I am not minus 26 at all. Um... I missed my last two splits, I can't really tell you where I am. I'm on decent pace. We're 26 minutes apart is essentially the thing. Uh, now what do I do? Do I need keys? I guess I need keys. Wait, I don't even know how my money is. Is this okay? I'm oh, sure. it looks like it should be okay. Yeah. I'm gonna end up dying in this grind. I feel it coming already. I'm gonna do something really dumb. I might pay for it. What you doing? <laughs> so, I'm gonna sit here and I have step between these mountains. Uh, uh, the very convenient thing about this version is since everything is counted at half tiles, Rhoda's armor is two times as effective as it is in every other version of this video game. Because it, well, it's not that it's two times as effective, it's that it, it heals for half of the time, because it heals every half tile. And then we can use the half stepping to not take encounters in order to make it so that when I'm bouncing back and forth between the water and the mountain there, there's only really like two steps when I can, out of four, that I can actually even get a fight, which is really convenient. But now I gotta sit here for about 20 minutes. We want to see a lot of green dragons now. We were terrified of them at level 8 and level 15. Not so much. They're also worth 135 experience, which is very, very good. Every single Drick bird I'm running into is healing. That's a good way for you to make up time. He also could just choose to not go to sleep, but then I could end up dead, which is fun. I need to change my rules on Twitch, too, because my rules said that people should join this tournament, and I didn't think they're allowed to do that now, because we're in the second match of the tournament. Oh, yeah, probably not. But if you're interested in learning this game, pretty simple. Just Sparky is very rusty and is getting bad luck at the same time. I'm so rusty. Please do not use this run as how it should go. I've got I've got many more runs of this game in the belt, so me just oh, kinda letting my mind autopilot. Dear. She died to the dragon. I used Gira instead of heal. Oh Cause I'm smart. Yeah. Yeah. That's just me being bad. So yeah, this game's really easy to learn. <laughs> Oh, poor Sparky. I didn't, I didn't want it to end this way. It was going so well, and then Golem walk. Yeah, I died. What a surprise. See, this uh... time it was just... Sparky wasn't paying attention to the notes properly, and she realized she needed to die after the fight, but she read it as die during the fight, and her mind died during the fight instead. Which isn't, which isn't ideal. You don't get the 950 experience that way, you just go directly to jail. So now everything's going to be wrong, and I probably have the wrong number of keys. So... Buy... you buy keys when you buy holy water. Yeah. And, and then buy more keys later. Uh, if you need to, you can technically get away without it. The only key that you would be missing is your bonus key for your second walk to Sherlock, should the first walk not go well. And what, do you think I'm not gonna need that? You might not. Never know. Oh, but I you know. also might end up critting Dragon 6 with, like, 50-some HP. And then you have to go back to town anyway. So that's why I'm not a big fan of just immediately buying keys again on Dragon 4. Yeah. Well, don't worry, I can buy keys on Dragon 3! What an exciting adventure! Mm hmm I, I remember back when I had to do that literally all the time forever. Alright, this time for real. The thing that sucks is you're gonna have to do a poverty walk. Mm -hmm. Good old walk of shame. 
where you don't get to have holy water, because you can't just go buy extra holy water because you don't have any. Hello, dragon. Goodbye, dragon. One oh nine, I'm level sixteen. Oh. Uh... Oh my god, my PP is out of this grind at 114. Yeah, I'm not on PB pace, but I should be on like 140 pace. Since the way that this was set up was based on PBs, we had a lot, we had a, a decent number fewer entrants this year than last year. I'm um, technically yes. the three seed, and and Sparky is. Six out of six. So. Yay, me! And I'm performing just like it. I think, even I think you're performing pretty, pretty unluckily even for yourself. <laughs> this is this is different. Sometimes this game decides that you're going to just train wreck, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, Ooh. and when you're not allowed to reset, it's just really not fun. Oh, it's really not. But, hey, you never know what's gonna happen. I had a run where I died in Rocky Cave like two or three times, and that run I beat Pop in Tournament. Anything can happen. So I just needed him to die to Dragonlord three times. Uh, I don't know Pop, this is... Pop being the world record holder. Why don't I just do this right now? Stop with the healing. Oh. So you'll notice that every time the Jerkbird heals here, I'm swinging at it once before I put it to sleep. That's because I know for a, that there is a very, very slim chance of me killing it in two hits. And he's only guaranteed to sleep for one turn, so what I'm banking on is that I will... When I get that third hit in, I'll just outspeed him that turn. Or that he'll just stay asleep for it. Um... If you don't swing at him once first, he has an extra chance to wake up and possibly outspeed you to heal. And that's really inconvenient, because the way that his heal spell works, he will go to full. Don't miss. So in a fun change of events, I'm going to be taking the princess home after Dragon 2. Oh boy! What did you do? I restocked on Holy Water right away because I just used some extra ones and figured I would buy some extra and hopefully that won't ruin everything. Oh lord. As long as I pay attention to my numbers, it should in theory be okay. That's not to say everything won't still go wrong, but... I mean, if you're I'll buying try. Holy Water, you can just go buy keys, but you're gonna have to buy keys again some other time and I don't know when that is. You're also gonna have to buy Holy Water again. Um, I would probably just buy... if you're gonna buy... Holy Water and Keys after Dragon 2, I would just buy Holy Water again after Dragon 3, and then buy Keys after Dragon 4, and then treat it like normal. Probably. That sounds like a thing that would make sense. That's why I told you to just do both after Dragon 3, because then that puts you on the normal path. I'm trying uh, to help you, I swear. Dra Wait, <laughs> no. I'm buying Keys right now. It doesn't matter that the dragon missed me. All is well. I'll just go by my Sparko strats and everything will be fine. We're already on Sparko strats. Something has gone wrong. This means it's normal for me. I think Sparko strats might be the only set of strats that are worse than Lapid strats. It's actually astounding that I technically have the third fastest time in the West at this game. But realistically, I have the fourth. Thanks to my boy Hactical deciding to beat me at Limit Break, but not having a recorded video because it was in practice room. Mm. 
how would I help? Oh, it occurs to me I can't actually go back to Tantagel fast. That's not the name of the castle, but you know what I mean. Radidum. Because I don't have the spell to do that. So we still have to take a nice long walk. Now I'm sad again that the dragon missed me and I hit 48 health. Oh, if you have 48 health, yeah, you definitely need to just go by keys and accept your fate. Oh god. No, but I had no way of returning to the castle. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's... It was fine until I realized it wasn't Yeah, you fine. need Dragon 3 to give you return. Yeah. yeah. Everything is bad. That's okay. It's not great. No, it's fine. Look at us go. <laughs> Whee! Buying keys. Dragon 2. At this point, she's just doing a nice casual let's play to try and get notes that I don't die to Dragon Lord repeatedly. Stop healing! Oh my gosh. Almost every single jerk bird has cast heal so far. Where do you think they got their name from? I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> they don't want to die in two hits. Should be approaching the end of the grind, though. In the Game Boy version of this game, um, you actually don't do this grind. You actually kill 15 dragons instead of 7. Well, 14 or 15. Depending upon something or other. I don't know. I didn't run that version of the game. Because they can't heal as effectively with the armor. Makes MP a little bit more tight. Remember to get the Staff of Rain on my way up, too. Probably be a bad thing to forget. That would help you. I get yelled at by a grumpy old man. <laughs> He'll cast you away. I can't even use it outside there. Why can he? I don't understand. I'm gonna strip off my Rota's armor. I'm actually gonna look at my experience count here. Yeah, okay. definitely. We're gonna walk around in the swamp and slowly kill things until we die. If I would have died to uh, the Devil Knight, he was guarding Rodo's armor. I would actually just use Return right now, but I have to get rid of the princess because we're gonna go get what we like to call the Bonus Dragon. I wonder if you can figure out where that name came from. Nice, and I got oh, no. Death by Fire Breath, so. Don't have to hear that. So we'll see, I only need 237 experience to level. It's really convenient. Because the dragon gives 950, so I'm just going to hit level 17 off the dragon. Our, our boy Dargan over here is going to help me out a little bit. Give me some extra towards 18. A bonus, not bonus. Bomus dragon? God. No. Don't Please think not. we could take him out in this game. He might be a little bit too strong for DQ1 hero. I guess I go grab the staff of rain first and come back down.
<laughs> and we could probably handle that. We would just have to, uh... Yeah, so I was supposed to get this after the dragon leap. Whoops. We gotta nail this, so it's fine. Oh, I killed that dragon faster than I thought I would. Oh well, it's key buying time for real. Nice. Back on track. For the second for real time. I think that was the four times in two turns. Yeah, he can't be. I, I don't need him doing it six times in two turns. That that's not that's not sustainable. Yeah, that sounds pretty terrible. Please do not. You're not allowed to multi-turn in this. One turn per person or dragon, please. Or zombie bone dragon thing. Or anything. Hi, Scorpion. Bye, that's... I put my armor back on, right? Yeah, okay. Good. So, this dragon's really, really hard to kill. What I'm gonna do is, since turbo is allowed, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna turn auto-fire on, and I'm gonna sit here and watch this dragon die. <laughs> while I take a stretch. Okay, he's dead. Cool. This is why we use JRTA, so we can just turbo. Uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna do three something. We'll take the princess with us, we don't have to do this, but... If I died to Dragon Lord, I'm not doing it again. I believe. Use return to leave the ca- leave the, the castle, leave the cave. I'm gonna go back into the cave. With our newly found shield. I guess I lied. I said that the, the only shield we get in this game is the iron shield. We also get the princess shield, so... It's a great shield. Really, yeah. I mean, the princess really just wants to go thank the dragon lord for giving her such a nice bed. Yeah. And such a nice friend to keep her company in the caves. And airdropping them in by helicopters. Exactly. Whenever, you know, this rude human takes away the other friends. Oh, I'm just cast Behoemi. I don't need Behoemi right now. What's that? Big heal spell. Right. Regular heal spell is uh, Hoemi. Alright. Uh, Hoemi is heal more. How am I or something for you all? I don't know. It's the short one. It's what I know it as. Or Behoma, that's what it is. I always thought it was Behomu, because Mu and Ma are pretty much mirror images. Oh hey, guess who never picked up Roto's token? So I guess we're going back uh -oh. to town. <gasps> oh dear. I knew I was gonna forget something. I used to have a split for this for a reason, and now I don't anymore. That's good. Whatever. It's fine. Come on, princess. We're going on a war to world <laughs> tour now. It's fine. Nice date. This is a nice date. Most of it's along the river. Alright, Durgan. Let me outspeed you. Oh, 34. No, I didn't want you to outspeed me. Oh well. Alright, I'm level 14 now. That might be a good thing. Yep. I'm so I lost. I think I've killed dragon five you. dragons so far. I you have. Think that makes sense if I'm level 14. So, the magical number I'm looking for from 1950, I think? Yep. Alright. Well, 1900. 19 oh! 
Yes. Dragons are not great. Yeah, that's where I always confuse the 50. I put a 50 where I shouldn't. Oh, uh, yeah, why am I? Oh, wait, no, I can't. I'm not strong enough to repel things around here. <laughs> I'm, like, always below where I should be, so let's find out what the king tells me. Oh, 1826! I actually did a thing properly! You know what, it's probably from all those extra things I had to kill on the way to Golem Walk. <laughs> um, probably a little bit, yeah. Check through the grass here as possible. Guess I should be fighting things in this area, really. So, here's a really fun thing about this game that I can show you now, since I have a massive lead and a princess down here for no reason, besides not feeling like not doing it. Uh, so this is the spot where Rota's token should be, right? Look where I'm standing. Okay, now here's where it actually is, and now look where it comes up. Yeah, it comes up a half tile behind me. It comes up here, where it's supposed to be, but instead it's over here. Because... Question mark. I don't know. It's dumb. Okay, back to Rimmeldor. Because half tiles are weird, I guess. I, I, I don't know why they did <laughs> Why did they shift it to that half tile? Without actually shifting where it shows it appearing at. What they did. Like, there's nothing in this game that takes up the space of a half dial. There's no line in anywhere in this where there should be any reason for it to be on a half dial, but there is. I don't know. Anyway, I'm finally gonna be headed to the final dragon in a moment, so that's exciting. Nice. Yay, Sparko's doing it. I'm heading Do down it. to the rainbow drop for a second time. Some of it. Nice. I guess you were cast out. Yep. Yeah. What a jerk. I got, I got yelled at. Alright, I'm just gonna double check my keys, but everything should be fine. And if I don't have a key at this point, I can't get more keys immediately anyway, so what am I even thinking about? Three keys, two holy waters. All is well with the world. After my shenanigans are over. How do you go to an item? That's how you go to an item. Good job, me. Yay, items. Yay. Yeah. I mean, I haven't made that many bad menu mistakes other than that one gear instead of healing myself, but there have been a lot of just, you know, what the heck do I go for this place one? That's some of the rust showing. This is what he's supposed to do. Okay, cool. So this is my final drag, and I don't need to pay quite as much attention to how many, how much health I have left over, since you actually want to survive after this. So that's nifty. Less thinking, more whacking him on the head with a stick. Well, you just have to be careful, because it's based on your what? damage rolls, whether you can just swing a layer if you have to heal once. Well, yeah, you have to still stay alive, but you pretty much just don't have to try and survive with the smallest amount of health. It's a fun thing about both Dragon 6 and 7, you can technically just hold X and possibly win, but it's not guaranteed to yeah. go percent chances. It's the same for each dragon. You're probably thinking, well, why are you using that last uh, Tohorosu there? And you're gonna have to do it right outside town, that's because... The way that it works is your your threat counter actually still progresses, but it can't hit zero. So your chance of actually getting into a random encounter directly after air repel runs out is very, very high. <laughs> Don't really want to take steps without it. 
very interesting on Game Boy. Me that, I was like, that seems silly. Hooray! I only lost about two minutes there. That's not too bad considering all the backups that I had to do, so hooray! Didn't you die to a dragon too? Yes. Which caused me to have to do the backups. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's, that's also pretty much your two minute long. Yeah. Um, so how many keys do I need at this point? I think technically just one. Yeah, when you're done you only need one. Yeah. So you have the spare key. Oops. You have the spark. you have the, the, the spark key, I mean the spare key. Ha. Welcome to the Dragon Quest, where our entire existence is made up of terrible puns. But now that I've walked down to get the rainbow drop twice... The scenic route. Take your girl on a nice walk. She'll appreciate it. Hmm. I'm gonna throw her and this, this thing that we worked so hard to get into the water here. Just toss it in. Bridge. I don't know where. It's called a rainbow bridge. It looks like a normal bridge. I don't get it. Yeah, I wish it was made out of rainbows. That would be so much prettier. Uh... Ah! <laughs> I never went to the vault. In all my shenanigans. Oh, nice. The Lavitz classic that yeah. I did literally 20 minutes ago. And now this guy is talking to me and complaining that I don't have a thing for him. That's a little easier solved, though, so that's okay. Hey, you just have to get it on your way back. Just, you know, don't forget where it is taken like I did. Yes. And look, I can even stay at the inn on the way. How pleasant. So, I'm level 17. If I were to fight Dragonlord right now, I have about a 5% chance of survival, which is also uh, about the chance you have a landing a critical hit. So that's good. So what do I want? Not the top one. I want everything else. Good stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill everything that we can inside of this castle that doesn't have a giant axe, so that's not really, really rude. Not the rude ones. I got back attacked by a green dragon. Why? You can't win. That's not going to save you. <laughs> he wants to believe it, Will. I'm gonna take his experience for it. Someday I'll do my naked and afraid percent run, and this floor is really gonna hurt that I'm walking on right now. Is this it? This, this shiny, fun blue floor is the same thing that we cut ourselves on in the castle, so not having Rota's armor makes it very, very painful. Yes. So now it's my turn to go fight Mr. Devil Knight. It's not that terrible, so... I don't believe in friend. myself. Yeah, the, the strategy is very, very... Uh, intensive. What you do is you, uh, hold attack. And either he dies or you die. You can try and heal, but normally that's just a big waste of time. Yeah. Because you're, at that point you're more or less hoping for him to fail a sleep spell. Because <laughs> otherwise you're pretty on par. Your heal is about as much as what he damages you for. And... It's fun. I mean, even here at level 17, you saw me run from one because they're just not worth fighting. Because if they put you to sleep, they can just kill you outright. And dying is slow. I always walk the wrong way when I come in here. I'm sure you, uh, you, you try and yeah, you, you can come from the top. Yeah, we can't do that here. I know. The trees, they're in the way. Yeah, a little bit. So now I'm on this floor. From this floor on, we're hoping to see the blue dragon. Also known as Keith Dragon or Kisu Dragon, Kiss Dragon. We want him to, to blow his nice warm breath all over us. Thanks to Roto's armor, we take very little damage from. Him. Okay, this is Stone Man. We don't want to see him ever. He's big and mean and rude, and he hits really, really hard, and he has way too much HP. Well, I got a critical on my first attack. Oh, there you go. Just poke him one more time, and he's dead. Uh, no, I just poked him once. Oh, you'd actually died off the first one? Nice. Yeah. Easy as Devil Knight either, ever. 
So if I hadn't walked the wrong way, that would have been a gold split. Also, if I was actually able to get that harp or the staff as I got there. But, you know, that's not a thing. Oh, God. I did the thing. The good thing? The bad thing? The, the very bad thing. Uh-oh. What did you do? Goodbye, heal more. Okay, time to run away. Oh. Who I got put to sleep to for four turns by Axe Knight. Oh. So that's not great. I'm not down to heal more. Which makes fighting Dragonlord a little bit more dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and just burn my, uh, my spare MP here to kill off this stone man. Get a little bit more experience, because I've gotten bad fights on my way through here. Technically, I still should wait until I have a sword to do that, but I, I don't want my, my sword arm to get rusty here. Just want to do it now. <laughs> Once we have a sword, we can technically fight him. It's still just really not fun. But I still need a decent amount of experience. Not been great. Once I get rid of sword, I'll actually swing it. Axe Knights and be supposed to. So thankfully this section is a lot nicer to walk through once you are nicely equipped. Then you can just kill all the things instead of crying when you see them. Oh, I guess I'll fight you, Stone Man. I don't want to. Ugh, Stone Men are the worst. Yeah, but I'm at, I'm at the staircase where it's all like the teeny tiny floors. Oh, okay. Like, all I've got to do is go up so I can just heal with armor. Yeah. It's still really inconvenient to beat you within an inch of your life, but you're not really gonna get encounters here. You know, I lost like five minutes for getting that stupid token. Yeah. It's not great. I'm pretty sure I just walked directly on top of the staircase and didn't go down, and I'm very confused as to how that happened. I think it's because huh. I half stepped off the candle? I guess? I don't know. I'm not sure, I've not seen that. Did I just auto equip? Did I equip the sword? Yeah, I did. I'm supposed to do that in combat. Okay, goodbye, blue dragon that just got crit immediately. Good. I need 1200 experience to level. That's not as much as I thought it would be. I need to get the token, which is probably. Oh. Werewolf wants to say hello. Okay, another crit. We'll see ya. Devil Senpai, Akuma Senpai. I'm on the wrong spot. Here it is. Hooray! Now the token history. appears behind me, because that's how it works. Something that will forever irk me about this video game. So now I'm in the hangout in this section for some period of time game. Oh yeah, I would like to go down to the next floor, but I also only have 53 HP, and that doesn't seem like the smartest idea. No, oh, that's a bit of a problem. And it keeps feeding me blue dragons, and how can I just not fight them? I know! They're so <laughs> juicy! <laughs> so I just keep ending up with lower and lower HP. Okay, we're gonna go down now, because I need 500 experience? Yeah, 505 experience to level. Oh yeah. So, I'm sure you've all seen a lot of Dragon Warrior, and you don't understand what the concept of the Fun Police is. Uh, it's very backwards in this game. Um, Quite the opposite. <laughs> in NES, the Fun Police, uh, they like to beat you up and throw you in jail. In this game, the uh, they, they've decided to go with more a, a, a community policing approach. And if they see any little boys and girls who are just having a bad time, um, they just give them ice cream tickets. And send them on their merry way. And the reason we say that is because their first three turns are scripted. The first thing they do is a little breath attack, which can't hit you for more than, like, 12. Uh, the second thing they do is cast Mahoton, which is stop spell. And, uh, the third turn they physically attack, if they get to. They should be dead by then. And then they give you 350 experience. 
Which is ridiculous, because they're absolutely not threatening. It's quite um, after their third After their third turn, they go into the normal script where they just have a percentage chance of doing things. But those first three attacks are scripted. I believe the reasoning behind that is... It lets them go through their entire moveset, and they also only have enough MP to cast Mahotone once. Huh. So once their scripting is done, they'll never try and cast Mahotone. I didn't uh, this know is, that. This is Shinigami Senpai. I'm just going to swing at him because I can. Uh, never mind, he healed. We're going to run away now because he'll just kill us if we try and swing through. But yeah, uh, first three attacks from, from Fun Police in this game are entirely scripted. Oh, hey, it's Shinigami Senpai again. Shinigami Senpai is really having a fun time healing on turn two. Uh oh. Great. <laughs> Oh, so I sit here and walk back and forth in front of Dragon Lord, trying to kill Shinigami Senpai because it's the only thing I can encounter. Okay, he healed turn one. We can still swing on that. Oh, that we missed. Now we can't. Please stop. I'm losing all of my herbs to Shinigami Senpai. Oh no. And as I did with the mountains and the water during the actual grind section, I can sit here and walk back and forth between a corner of the throne and a corner of the wall to minimize my encounter rate until I find I this lovely magician. The yeah, there's my level. All I had to do was kill one of the, like, 87 Death God Knights that I was swinging at earlier. Speaking of Death God Knights, can you please just heal yourself and stop attacking me? I would, I would really like to be able to conserve some of my herbs, or I'm just gonna die, right? Yeah, I'm dead. Cool. Uh oh. So, going into Dragon Lord without full HP is a really bad idea. Failing to run to Shinigami four times also not the greatest idea. It's not the best setup for getting there. Conveniently, I'm level 18 now, and nothing else really matters. I'm not gonna grab the princess again, because it's too much hassle. Level 19 doesn't give you any rewards either, so it's not like I'm going to fight my way through the castle because of it. I found level 16. Hooray! Nice. I'm slightly stronger, maybe. See? You're gonna catch up and win. Don't worry about it. I just gotta, I just gotta die to Dragonlord twice. I'm very worried if I win. I told you it was fine. So that was probably like that Sherlock was all over the place. Yeah, it sounded like it. Like I somehow didn't need much experience, but I didn't feel like I was really killing anything. And then I needed less than 120 experience and I couldn't get it. Yeah. And I burned through tons of resources trying to get it. And then I just died. Sounds like Dragon Quest. Shinigami should also only be a 20% chance of appearing. I don't actually know what's doubled up in the bottom floor. Or wait, is there something? No, there's... Wizard, Fun Police, Shinigami Senpai, Stone Man? So yeah, there's four. I think Stone Man's doubled up. They're so terrible. Aren't they, though? Like, sometimes I just think I'll fight one, and then I remember, hey, this is actually the worst idea. Who, Stone Man or Shinigami Senpai? Both of them, really. Uh, I think Stone Man's actually worse. I feel like... I don't know. Because Shinigami Senpai is fine as long as he doesn't heal. Yeah. 
Stone Man's just like, yeah, you'll kill me, but you're only gonna have 30 HP. <laughs> yeah. Shinigami, you can at least beat him with like 50 some sometimes. And then it's Daijrebu. I feel uncomfortable getting out of any of those fights. Yeah, kinda. It's just when you almost kill my boy Death God Knight, and then he decides to heal, and you're like, ugh. Yeah, then you regret your all decision. Of my resources. Which is what happened to me, multiple times. <laughs> to the point where I was burning through herbs. Which I guess doesn't matter, because I ended up dying anyway, so I got to buy more herbs. But now we play everything about this completely differently. I have zero reason to fight anything, everything is run immediately. No, that was adorable. I crossed over the bridge onto, uh... Onto the island, and I found a regular magician. Aww! <laughs> What's he doing there? I guess he oh, just saw... Cutie. He saw the bridge and he wanted to take a peek across. He wants to raise some heck. He's gonna help protect the Dragon Lord from you. Assuming that everything else around him that can just massacre him doesn't rip him to pieces. <laughs> Do the enemies fight each other? Uh, uh maybe. They could be. They could all be competing for Dragon Lord of Love. Only the strongest will win. Yep. Here's a fun fan theory for um, everyone watching, by the way, that I, I personally came up with. So the Dragon Lord is a great magician. He can use very strong spells. He can also turn himself into a dragon. Uh, and this game takes place after Dragon Quest Three. So my theory is the magician who helped Dragon the the hero in Dragon Quest Three is actually the Dragon Lord. <laughs> and what he did is he turned traitor on his team because the mage in DQ3 is entirely capable of learning a spell called the dragon. And obviously he can also use very powerful spells like the dragon lord does. So my so only my... question is why did you turn on everybody? Hmm? But he did. I mean, he's he's got the light orb now. He just bided his time, because he knew he, he knew he couldn't beat the rest of the team. But why did you turn on everybody, Lavitz? The Dragon Lord is you! <laughs> Look, man. You don't know that. Oh, I do! I played through <laughs> Dragon Warrior 3! <laughs> Shh. These people don't know about my dark secret, that I'm actually <laughs> the Dragon Lord! Ah! Uh... A.K.A. Old Man Mage, who has a really bad habit of ripping off and trying to stab things with his knife. At least in randomizer. So, the big fun part of that, and the reason that that fan theory came to exist, is that whenever someone's doing a blind playthrough of Dragon Warrior 3, or where it originally started was High Spirits doing a rando, or he named a magician after me, or a mage after me, who then proceeded to not be able to equip anything besides a knife. <laughs> For the longest time... Uh, I, I try and talk people into to naming the Mage Lavitz after me. Because I like being the Dragon Lord. And you'll see, now that I've got level 18 MP, I've got 106. I need to keep 104. I have a spare sleep that serves me no purpose, so I'm not going to use it. Could have done Cowie strats. I could have opened up the... The, uh, the treasury inside of Sherlock, but there's not really a good reason for me to do that. But there is an NPC in there, but then I would have to go buy keys again, and that's really slow and not worth my time. No, and I already now have two, two more Keelmores than I would have had against Dragonlord. Thanks to me having to burn one against the Devil Knight. So I'm an idiot, and I swung at him, and I'm supposed to run away like a big, big pansy. Yeah, we got, we got my boy, my boy Pow Yowie in the chat. But yeah, I promise this game is easy, and I'm just really bad, and Sparko is just really unlucky. 
And that's why our times are terrible. But it's fine though, I just gotta die to Dragonlord a couple more times and then you can win. Oh boy. When's level can... 17? Soon. Soon TM. 17 is it? 17,000 experience? I've gotta be getting close. Yeah, but that's thinking forward. I can't do that. I just hit things until I turn 17 and then go. <laughs> Bad like, strats. Just like actual puberty, you just keep hitting things until you hit until you turn until you're 17. Uh, oh, hey, it's the fun police. Too bad I have no reason to kill you. And since I'm running away the way that his logic works, he would actually just sit there and keep breathing fire at me over and over and over again forever. Hmm. Which is kind of okay, because he can, uh, he can only hit me for like up to 12. I have 130 HP. It would take him a, it would take him a while to whittle away at that. I think unlike, so. Unlike our boy Death God Knight here, who's just gonna keep smacking me in the face with his axe and his Beggy Rama. Oh, I have no HP. A little more effective. Just a bit. So please don't let that happen. No, he put me down to 48 HP. Okay, we made it to Dragonlord, though. Hooray! And we said yes to Dragonlord, so now we're going back to Remodar. No. <laughs> you say yes, he sends you back to Remodar. Yeah, now I gotta count this. seems seven. a little nicer than the Nintendo version. Th that's different. This game's a lot nicer than the oh, Nintendo Oh, good. Version. I missed. That's good. Oh, nice. That's worth a zero when you're counting to seven. And then he healed himself. So what are we at now? Nine? Three. Negative? <laughs> One. Three. Oh, he tried to put me to sleep. Good. Four. Five. Four, five, six. Just gonna preemptive heal. Okay, you died. Nice Kaishin, we'll see ya. Hooray! So when you kill him, if you look, I'm now actually just staring off to the left. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, but you Cause do. Cause you're done! You're done, and you're just looking away, you're like, yep, my job's done here. As he, as he transforms in front of me. Ah, I leveled! I got to level 17! Nice. I did it! In my stupid baby strats, I still get a few kills after 17. <laughs> it's great. Honestly, all I ever do now is get lazy with the heal. Just let something kill me and then go jump in the. It doesn't work. Yeah. Don't physical me on turn four. Don't let me outspeed you on turn one. Ah. Rude. So rude. No rude. Very. Ahem. Alright. Let's turn to Yak. Okay, this is getting silly. Let's go jump in a swamp. <sighs> I did the thing. Yay! He did a thing! That's great. Now you'll have to try really hard to lose. Don't doubt me. I'm gonna <laughs> do a victory tour around the world. Well, not without your girl. Yes, without my girl. What's the point? She's in the cave. <laughs> I know! I you have to go get her. Second it. time. I, I don't blame you. Actually, I should have I should have went to see to waste a bunch of time. <laughs> JRTA means I have to wait until end of credits. <laughs> All right, now what do I do? I have to get a staff of rain. Well, how many 
keys do I have? I had enough, right? Two keys. No, the pride bits look really cool. Um, how do you go to Yeah, hooray! Guess I should ignore my sh my own like chat more often. I got bits. I know we're we don't get those. <laughs> nice. Stream big. Yeah, streambig.net. Better streambigger.net, but it's b i g e r. Stream biggest. I don't know about that site. So yeah. here here during the credits, we get to watch a lot of things I didn't do. <laughs> uh. Also, I wish I was as strong as the the hero in the credits, because he just walks up to the dragon and pokes it once, and it just falls over and explodes yeah. and all that. <laughs> also, apparently, you go and save the princess before you get the stone to sunlight. I don't, I don't know what's up with that either. I think my favorite thing in credits in a Dragon Quest game is in Dragon Quest 2, you actually do bring the... Prince of Samaritori, or the Prince of Kanek, you bring his dead body to show his sister. So it's it's actually canon that at some point during the game he just dies. <laughs> and has to be revived. Because they knew what they were doing with making a character like him because it's so bad. <laughs> Though in the, the Super Famicom run, he's actually the most important party member at the end of the game. Not, not really nice, but you know, we'll take it. It's acceptable. Hooray! You do the thing! Yeah. I mean, with what was technically a death to Dragon Lord, it only cost me like five minutes somehow. Probably because I didn't actually fight Dragon Lord. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess so. If you don't have to actually go through the motion fight, that'll be not quite as long. Died to Shini got me directly in front of him when it was like the fourth one that I fought trying to get any experience whatsoever. Yeah. Which isn't isn't great. Alright, so here's my bonus dragon. Yay, bonus dragon. It'll die soon. Oh, I should probably put my armor back on. That would help. Uh probably. I mean, maybe it should have occurred to me when I was in the swamp and getting hit by it, but, you know. Uh, that yeah, would mean... Just, just, cast, just cast heal one. <laughs> like, every third turn. It's fine. You still shouldn't kill you. Oh, no, I lived. <laughs> Didn't need the armor anyway. We're strong. Big strong on boy. On today's episode of Naked and Afraid, <laughs> Bopo fights off a dragon without any clothes on. Nothing but his, his shield and his sword in hand. Hey, hey, I've got a dragon scale on. Hey, he's got he got to have that for modesty. Also. Exactly, the modesty dragon scale. Can't be walking around all lewd like that. No. Inappropriate. This is a PG-13 stream. So, of course, I picked up the girl, because that's what's important. One of us will have to be able to actually, you know, fight Dragon Lord with the princess, maybe. I hope so. I guess I don't need to let's spend it. <laughs> so hopefully I have all the things I need so I'm not cast out of this guy's house. Yeah, you did go and get your uh, Staff of Rain, right? Yes, and I did get the token, so we should be solid. Hopefully. Oh yeah, I'm not Bopo, I'm I. I don't know what else to be. I don't know how to name things successfully. Who do it's you think the, I am? It's the same thing, just don't use Boho, like, Scar did in his PB. <laughs> That's terrifying. He was strength agility. Oh that my. Agility, yeah, that agility is actually a bad thing, because now he's got like a 5 or a 6% chance more of outspeeding Dragonlord 2. 
Oh. So, yeah. all that does is give you a higher chance of of outspeeding Dragon Lord and having to burn through more MP. Yeah. Which isn't great. You don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't know how to spell Bopo in Moon Talk. That's that's my issue. It's the the character that's all the way on the right of the first line, and then the the little like. Oh, I'm healing. I should. Quotation marks. Then that character again in the little circle, and it's all just right there. Okay. Technically, you waste like a second in character creation. But then your name is Bopo. Yeah, and since it's less characters, it's easier. Alright, so I probably want to <laughs> heal here and buy things. That sounds about right. That would be the smart idea. I sure know what I'm doing. Everything will be fine. So I probably want max herbs and a torch. That is my assumption. Yeah. You can buy two torches and be extra safe. But I only have one key. Alright, are we good? We've got six of those, and none of those. Where's my torch? Oh. Time on to hunt my soul. Should. Well, that's... Well, no, because see, I have a problem called I have some chain mail. You also have a defense seed. I do? Yeah, it's the thing that was directly under the chain mail. So you've huh. done everything with four less defense than you're supposed to have. <laughs> Which one? This one, probably. Four! I got a four! Is that good? Uh, you always get a four. That's how oh. that's how that seed works. Oh, shucks. So where would I have gotten that from? Oh... That would have been the dresser after Golem. After Golem. Okay. If it's after Golem, I don't feel bad then. I don't even know what naming yourself Bo does. <laughs> that shouldn't be sh anything that gives you bonus strength, though. I don't know what the you need drop so it's that one. You need a four-character name to get strength HP, and I'm pretty sure you need it for strength agility as well. Or no, I guess Boho's only three. Hmm. I could look it up, but I'm lazy. Hey, don't put me to sleep. That's rude. That's better. <laughs> Dad, you and all of the chimeras today. It's not great. I only went to sleep once. I also went to sleep for four turns against an axe knight and had to burn him. <laughs> no more. That's less fun. Oh look, another one being rude. What do you know? It's not ideal. Probably not. There, that's much better. That's how I want every single fight to go. That's an unrealistic standard. I mean, you should be able to one-hit him now. It's not necessarily, you know, Kaishen every single time. <laughs> but that's a, a good fight. Much. It's a wonderful fight, but you could just swing normally and kill it in one hit. Exactly. Alright, so now to the things that I can't kill in one hit. You can't, you just have to believe in yourself and crit them. But hopefully we'll have a good old time. Got my boy. My boy Yellow Wizard. He's pretty cool. Especially when he uses that 12.5% chance to cast Mahotone and just doesn't deal damage. I like that part. Uh, I mean, it could be strength agility, but I don't think it is. I can, I can stop being lazy and actually just look. Where's my... Where's my app spot? Everything's a metal babble. I like that. Not katakana. 
gone. Now, I'm just curious how I didn't notice that defense seed at all when I was uh, doing my fairy yeah. water stuff. But, you know. Yeah, because you were short of fairy water the entire time. Sparko strats. But hey, I survived, and now we're here. Yeah, it's definitely not plus HP. <laughs> huh? No, it's strength agility, apparently. Do you use bow? That's in that's neat. <clears throat> yeah. Now, hopefully I remember which way to go on this floor. I usually screw it up just a little bit near the end, but we'll see what happens. The only difficult floor is the one where I have to go right first. It's impossible. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to go right. Everything in this game is left. Yeah. It's like right here I always forget what to do. I sometimes go a different way. Oh, I did it properly! Hooray! Go Sparko, the scary music's playing. I'm sure you can still pee pee. You're only 15 minutes over pee pee. <laughs> Oh, totally. Oh, hi, Stone Man. If you could just let me scoot away. Oh, you're so nice. You're so nice, Stone Man. <gasps> what? How do you even miss the Kiss Dragon? That's just rude. I'll still be fine. I'll still be fine. Everything is fine. I kind of want to use Nerb. Sorry, how much HP did you- Oh yeah, you definitely need to use an arrow. Oh god. That's not great. <laughs> well, I missed my first attack, so it did not go well. Yeah. But I believed, and then I made it. Shh, Tawali. Your, your logic is too sound. Stop. <laughs> uh, what way do I go from here? Oh, this way. Very good. Alright, so we're gonna get me a new sword soon, that's gonna be fun. I mean, really, DQ7, you go all over the place for boss fight. You're going, like, thousands of years in the past. Time travel. I really need to start playing the other DQ games. You do. I do. Aren't you? Because, did you be ever beat 4, or did you give up after it crashed for, like, the third time? No, I beat 4, I just, uh, went to emulator after that, because... Safe. Yeah... Yeah. Yeah. I really tried to play it on console. I tried so hard, and it just didn't want me to. It really didn't. So, that <laughs> was beyond my control. I've never seen someone have save and delete that steadily. It was sad. It's like the only time I'm ever sad to hear the cursed belt music. <laughs> I guess it's just the cursed music in general. Alright, so I'm not level 18 yet, and I don't know how close I am, so maybe I should take a peek at that before I head my way up the staircase. Probably. I mean, 21,000 experience. How do you... I'm at tw 204. Or 20, 400. 20,400. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could head, right, head down right away. I'll do like one more fight and then go... If someone wants to fight me. Would anyone like to fight me? You would. I'm oh! Sure Stone Man would. I'm being a very brave bear. I found an axe knight. Yay. Alright, let's go down. <laughs> See what happens. Yes. I'm going to run DQ1 PS4. And DQ4 PS1. And confuse you repeatedly, Cowie. Like when you <laughs> thought I was going to run DQ4 PS1 because you misread that I was running DQ1 PS4. Someday, someday I'll start learning that. I gotta get good at DQ2 first. Then I, I might do IL play... for that while I'm doing DQ3. I can't wait to play Dragon Quest V and see what the best play. cursed sword is there, or cursed item. I always I always find a cursed item, like the 
sword of destruction, which is like the best sword in the game as far as I'm concerned. And, <laughs> really? And, in any game that it's in. In TQ2, it is, yeah, it's the strongest sword in the game, and then you combine that with the Falcon Sword and the, the Dragon Warrior 2 speedrun to get the Falcon Sword of Destruction. No, even without the Falcon Sword, I just loved that thing, it was great. Yeah, but anyway, you'd I'm like it even more if you could double attack with it. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I haven't seen a single good dragon yet. Uh, a yeah, good dragon. Oh, uh, at least you know the strat, they all hide behind the throne. Yes. What if there's a secret staircase behind this throne? Has anyone ever looked? <laughs> uh, yeah, sort of destruction drops in DQ2 SFC aren't that terribly rare. You are just like flailing around the in the level. area where they drop. But yeah, if you. You already have three shields of strength, you don't really need the money from it. <laughs> You're pretty good on money at that point. You can sit there and lick your shields forever. What is my max health now? 123. Probably 130-ish. 123, ugh. Is that terrible? That's pretty bad. That's like bare minimum. Fair. <laughs> well, let's die now. I mean, the big thing is you have to kill the... the nerd that drops the sword last. Healed. Shoot. This is really bad, I think. Should be fine. I hope. It's definitely, it's not over yet. But it's like you were gonna kill him that turn, he was gonna get that heal either way. Yeah. Okay, let's hopefully do this properly. Hopefully. Oh, you're in okay shape. You have a pretty decent uh, chance of victory. What are the numbers for healing? 101 and 64 on the different yes. turns? All right, 101, so I... 64, 64, 101. Yes. Uh, I'm a 96. Do I? Can I use an herb on that? Yes. All right. And that's an herb, right? All right. Okay, I can't count to four. Okay, this is number two. Shoot. Wait, no, that's fine. him. Okay, we're safe. Nice. Hooray! I was worried because we were out of heals there. Yeah, that happens. Since you had 64 um, pretty often that you're you're right at the, the line when you kill him. Yeah. But you're still relic. You're more likely to be the one to kill him than to die, but All right. it tends to be pretty close there. And I had a couple herbs to spare for healing as well. I think I have, like, one herb left, which is kind of... I don't like entering with two herbs. <laughs> I, I, four is kind of my safe point. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's another thing. I kept going first on the healing churn, so it was kind of not pretty. Yeah. They're not but hey, great. first Dragonlord attempt, at least. Something had to go right. Yeah, I was very worried that I was going to spend like so much time having to fight the Dragonlord to eventually Mercy kill the run, so at least the only really terrible part was the Golem walk. Oh, I can stop mashing now. <laughs> and yes, I saved the princess! Hooray! Nice threesome percent. Very good threesome percent. Would do again in next match. Oh boy, now I gotta go lose the Sun Diener. Good. And then I get a race lab again. Great. I mean, I'm not sure I'm not sure what the implications are for this match for me. Uh you are going to probably be racing Game Boy next. Game yeah. Boy. Yeah, because she's got a race star. So that's a it's gonna be a good match, because Game Boy almost beat Star in the last tournament, which is something <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, so I'm against the whoever loses that match. Help. Yep. Hey, remember that time when I went in and talked to this guy and got the coordinates? Because I sure don't. What guy? There's a guy? I don't know any guys in this game. <laughs> I just some little girls that try and get in my way and I want to stab them in the face with my broadsword. But you can't. If only I could. If only this was Final Fantasy Adventures. <laughs> of course the NPCs in that game have like 9 million health, but you can eventually kill them. I know in Zelda you can stab old men. Anyway, GG, hooray, we did the race. Beat the Dragon Lord. I know on this channel, you will get to see some free Enterprise, which is Final Fantasy IV Rando, and Random Mania 2 is going to have some Zaldo too, which is my personal favorite Zaldo. Oh, Zaldo 1? Dang. I like Zaldo uh, Battle Royale too. Tournament. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not a big Rando person, I'm doing my best here. But yeah, Zaldo 1, not Zelda. Second best Zaldo. But yeah, I believe that is it for Randomania for now. Um, thank you very much for Lavitz for helping with commentary, and thank you for Narestra, I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry, for doing the restream. Thank you everybody for joining us. Hey, I can go do other things now. Hooray, let's do other things! <laughs> Have a lovely day, everybody. Good night. Well, good day. Night. Good Ooh. afternoon. I've been up for too long already.